Hello and welcome to Stream Tabulous. Today we've got a special episode of Christmas in July. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a photo in a Christmas bauble. Now I've gone through the Facebook group and I've just selected someone at random since I haven't had anyone actually uh, put up and request for this to be done. But if you want to have your photo put into a Christmas bauble, so you've got the four months ahead to get it ready for someone to frame and wrap up and get it ready for Christmas, get onto the Facebook group and upload the photo and request it. Now, there are apps out there that can do this for you, but they're poor quality and they don't have many options. It's just one click and you've got a person in a bauble. Where the way I'm going to show you is actually really quick and easy to do. And it gives you the option to choose any type of photo you want. So different Santas, different angles of Santas, uh, the Grinch that stole Christmas, you can do that holding a bauble. Uh, I have a whole heap of backgrounds which I'll upload in the Facebook group. So make sure you keep watching to see that um, little Facebook group name come up so you can get onto it and join it. And we'll get on with the show and I will show you how it's done. And welcome back. So the photo I'm gonna look at today is this one here. Um, I've gone through the group and I've selected this photo which uh, one of our restoration people have done an absolutely amazing job of restoring. So we're going to take a look at this and then we're going to put it into a Christmas bauble. What I like about this photo is the top that he's wearing has that sort of Christmassy feel to it. So I think this is going to work great in a bauble and it just has that look where it'd make an absolutely fantastic uh, Christmas present. So we'll go through and we'll get this into a bauble. So the first thing we want to do, is I'm just going to blur my screen, is we're going to go into my apps and I'm going to open up um, the Lumi app, which is the background remover, because we want this not to have a background. And the reason for that is we want to actually see the background of the Santa that we're putting in and make it look like he's just sort of appearing in the bowl and sort of floating in there. So we'll open up the Lumi app. <clears throat> it's going to go into my gal gallery, which is why it's hidden. And then I am going to find the photo. So I have it in a file called a showcase of photos. And I'm just clicking it. And we have it open here and we're just going to come across the bottom here and we're going to click BG for background and then we're going to go replace background and we're not actually going to put a background in. we're just going to let it remove the background like that uh, we can go through if we wish it's not really needed but we can color in anything that is removed that we don't want removed but that little line at the bottom there we can put more of that arm back in so a lot of this is just going to be erased anyway so that doesn't really matter there and we're just going to hit OK to that, OK to that, and then we're going to save it up in the top corner, and once it's saved, we're done. Now from here comes the fun part. We go into my favourite app, uh, which is Pixay. Uh, I run Pixay Pro, uh, it is on the Android store, and it's really cheap if you want to buy the Pro version. Uh, to what I'm aware, the free version doesn't have um, many differences other than a lot of the little add-ons of speech bubbles and that because uh, it's really designed to like do the whole comic book thing but it has a whole range of advanced tools uh, where you can do just absolutely amazing things with the app so we're just going to open that up and then we're going to go get picture and we're going to um, get our background picture so bear with me and blur the screen so we're going to get picture, we're going to go into the gallery, and then I have a gallery in here somewhere, if I can find it, which is a Christmas gallery, so bear with me one moment. <laughs> Maybe it is in just my background. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'll bring that up. So this is the backgrounds I've have. Uh, I've made... A bunch of these myself um, the Grinch doesn't normally come with um, the hands so I made a Grinch with hands if you wanted to choose something like that uh, I have a bunch of Santa Claus one of the Santa Clauses down here 
is actually um, one of the Facebook friends of mine, uh, Brian's best friend, and he does Santa Claus um, as a charity thing. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. And it's a beautiful image, which um, I put the hands on as well, and a very high definition. And you can come through and there's just a whole range of them. You can see where I've added baubles uh, to some of them and without. Now, there are different ways to actually do it. And you can have one with the ball ball and then add him in. Or you can add a ball ball to one and then add him in and then redo the ball ball. But I'll show you how I like to do it. So we'll choose this photo here. I want the maximum size. Okay. So then I'm going to go into effects and I'm going to insert a picture. I'm going to come through. I'm going to open from this time. I'm going to select my gallery and I have a, a, another folder which has my PNGs in it. So I'm just going to find that. It's my clip art folder. Okay. This is my clip art folder where I've um, got PNGs and a collection of PNGs which don't have backgrounds where I've made baubles and special effects. So you can come through down here and you can see there's all sorts of things that we can add. And I've got some down here that I've made and I'm just going to pick one of these just like that. I'm going to go OK. Now we have our bauble. We pull our bauble into the size that we want and we can put it in his hand. Now we can we can make it small. We can do it any way we want. This one's got the base on it. We're going to remove the base in a moment because we want to see Santa Claus. Okay, so we're just going to do it like that. Might bring that up a little bit. Make that a bit bigger. Bring that over a tad and down a bit. Okay, I think that's beautiful. Okay. I'll hit apply to that. I'm going to change that blend down so where it's just visible. And then we're going to go erase. And we're going to erase everything that we don't want because we want Santa's hands coming through. So I will cut and fast forward so this doesn't bore you guys. Because all we're going to do is we're going to erase everything that we don't want so it looks like Santa is holding the ball. So we'll just skip forward here and then you'll see the final result. Okay, so I've gone through and as you can see, I've made it look like the hands are now holding the ball just by erasing the parts that I don't want. Now from here, we can go to that blend again and we can reduce that and get it to any place that we actually want. We can go under effects and we can adjust the colors, the saturations, the red, green, blues to it. And we can bring that to where we feel that we actually want that ball to have the color tones that we want for this photo. So we'll bring through some of the reds and bring it up just like that, just slight adjustments. And we can hit OK to that. We can go back into effects and we can do anything we want. So we can brighten it up if we need to. We can darken it and we can just blend it in a little bit by a little bit with the background. And then when we're done, we press the OK again and we can just repeat that until we're happy with our uh, final look. We can do hue to it if we wish. So we can go into the greens, we can go into the blues, and bring it back down. So I'll bring it to, might go about there I would say. You can click this little button here and see the before and the after, and we'll apply that. Now we have that, we're gonna put our person into it. So we will Go OK with a little tick. No, we don't want to save that for future use. We'll go Effects. We'll go Insert Picture. Blur the screen. We'll go Images. Showcase Photos. Oh no, this one's under Lumi because that's where we have the background removed. Very important. Click our person. Now we have our person that we're going to put into the ball. So we'll press OK to that. And there he is there. We'll bring him up and we'll slap him into the ball. Get him to where we want. Just like that. Now, same thing as before. 
we're going to go through and we're going to erase the background of where we don't want so we can see him in the ball with the hands over top and so forth to give it that uh, 3d dimension so i'll fast forward and then you'll see the final result okay so there we go we now have him in the ball and we have the hands over top of it now again we can come through to effects and we can adjust him to where we actually need him to be just so he is brighter and works with the photo so we just bring him up with some exposure so simple little adjustments like that just to make him pop and then we will press ok because we're done with that now we want to give him the illusion that there's either glass over top or something to make it look like he is in the ball and not just floating in the um, in the foreground we want him in the background or in the midground rather we have santa in the background we want him in the midground and then we want a foreground that way it gives the illusion of the three-dimensional depth so we'll go okay to that no we're going to go to effects again we're going to go insert picture and then we're going to select something to enhance a little bit more to give that um, foreground some three-dimensional depth so we're just going to blow that screen i'm going to go back into gallery i'm going to come down and find my i think that's my cutouts just bear with me yep there we go so let's have a look here let's bring that up so i'm going to select this one here the uh, bubble and i'm going to put that over top first and i want to make it as close as i can to the first bubble okay so we'll get that on and now i'm going to come through again and we're going to erase the parts that we don't want so i'll fast forward and you'll see the final result there this is the longest parts that actually happen is erasing those bits and you know i usually go over if i have to and then i'll just paint back in the bits that i need so we'll fast forward and we'll see that result okay now i have gone through and erased it so the fingers are once again coming through and again we can go to transform we can adjust the size do what's needed so we'll go to effects and in this case i want to hmm, what do we want to do here uh, we'll do some rgb toning on it just give that a little bit more blue and pull out a little bit of that green and add that little bit of a red to it i should give that illusion that santa is reflecting on the ball okay we'll go okay to that we're going to go to blend we'll reduce that down so it is has an opacity of translucency to it okay now that gives the glass effect to make it actually look like that he is inside of something because now we have reflections that are over top of him so we'll go okay to that and of course he's in a bauble which is a snow globe and we can see this one's already got some snowflakes in it so we want to add a foreground to put snow over top of him and do it in a way where it's not covering his face too much to blend it all together so again we're going to go to effects we're going to go to insert picture i am going to go to my gallery i'm going to come down to my clip art folder okay come through and i have this wonderful little one down here which is snow so we're going to click that we have our snow i'm going to drag that to size nice and big slap that over top just like that bring it up a little bit yeah beautiful right now we're going to hit apply we're going to blend it and we're going to make it see-through so it's just sitting over top of him we we'll bring it down because we're focusing through the snow so we don't want the snow to be overwhelming and we're going to go erase 
and we're going to come in and we're going to just clean up his face a little bit just like that do little spots like that just drag it through thinning out the snow we'll leave a couple of little spots but not too much we want his face noticeable so we make it look like the flurry is heavier behind him okay and that's it now that's how we put uh, a person into a bauble and uh, that's our christmas in july so i think that's fantastic and um as you've seen there's a whole range of backgrounds that you can use and you can have someone sideways um or one of the santas that are actually on the side holding the bauble um we can have the grinch holding a bauble um the options are absolutely endless um you can put someone into the back of a sled if you want so there we go and don't forget to join the facebook group so if you want a photo like this done get onto the facebook group and upload your photo and ask if it can be turned into a christmas photo or put into a bauble and that gives you a few months to actually get that ready for um, a Christmas present and get it wrapped up. Um, don't forget to also like, subscribe, and get the bell on. YouTube over the YouTube algorithm is not fun and has not been good on me, um, which is a little disappointing. I'm not getting a lot of um, followers and I'm not getting many views on the videos. I'm keeping at it for you guys in the Facebook group. Um, but if you can share my videos to your page, uh, if you think anyone's interested in it, um, the more people we get in to view it, the more I can grow the channel, which gives me the option to um, do more for the channel and more for you guys. I also, we'll get other people to actually learn how to do it, which means for those that don't know how to do it, that are watching the video anyway, just um, to see how it's done, you guys like and subscribe as well encourage other people to come into the channel and that will get more people doing photos which in turn will help you out later on so yeah and again i'll just bring up the facebook group here's our facebook group here and get onto it and join it i will upload the uh, backgrounds and um the, i'll put the clip art into the background for the bits that i use and of course don't forget that on the side here Throughout the video, you have the apps that I use. Uh, if you've watched enough of the videos, um, you'll find that I have preferences. I don't uh, really use Meet You a lot, for example. Um, so you'll know which ones I use the most and which ones I have a preference to. You find them in the Android store and uh, a lot of them in the iOS store as well. And yeah, a lot of them are pretty much free to use. Some of them have subscriptions, but you can just say, no, I don't want to subscribe. And it has a bunch of free use tools, which is what I basically work with. Um, I don't have the money to do subscriptions. I don't like doing subscriptions. Something like Pixay Pro, uh, when I brought it, it was like $2.50 Australian. Uh, it was very, very cheap. And um, it was a one-off fee and that is fantastic and it's been one of my go-to tools to use uh, if you're not using paint shop pro on a computer where you're doing layers um, then this is an option and of course if you have paint shop pro you'll very well know that you can do this with layers and layer translucencies and uh, adjust your red green blues and the colors and that uh, under color curves with that one um, and do the same thing which means the backgrounds that i upload you'll be able to use as well so again like subscribe get the bell on and i will see you in the next stream tabulous video thank you for watching my video and sticking around to the end if you like my videos it really helped me out if you could like and subscribe it helps the youtube algorithm to push my videos out there to more viewers which in turn helps me and helps everyone. So thank you for watching my video and hanging around to the end, and I will see you in the next video.